Okay, so what we're going to do is talk about DaVinci Resolve's proxies and it's going to make your laptop or whatever system you're using a lot quicker than what it already is. I've got my laptop set up there and uh, to make it easier for the laptop, uh, we're going to set up the proxy and what that will do is it creates a smaller file uh, to be able to play that back and then when you render it out, it uses the original footage and gives you the best quality of footage that you can get. So let's get into it, get the coffee. Now we've got a video set up here, so we've got the Avata footage and we've got the Pocket 2 that I used to film with this for that day. So as you can see, we hit play, you see the Avata footage and then I spin over to the uh, Avata, going past the Pocket 2 and then back to the Avata again. So we need to figure out what footage is what codec. So if we click on the Avata footage, we'll click on Inspector, uh, you've got five uh, to choose from from the top, you've got four of them sorry six and you've got four of them that are graded out so that's the video that's in there at the minute we want to press on the file in there it will tell you what codec it is for that for that video that you're on which is currently on the pocket 2 if we click on avata it changes 265 so i want the best footage possible for for the video which is going to be 265 so now let's jump into the settings let's get rid of inspector and you can see i've got two windows open so if you've got the raw footage you double click on it and it brings it up there and then that's your actual raw footage and it's the same if you want to see which one it is it inspector and it will tell you which one it is for that video because that's the one you've got selected right so let's jump into the settings so we we'll click on file project settings and then in there you've got master settings and then we want the optimized media and render cache so in there we want to change some of them just three of them settings so change the proxy media resolution change that to quarter proxy media want to change that 265 if you remember when we check the avata footage which is the best footage 265 and then optimize media media resolution we want to change that to half so now you can see we've done those three settings when you're happy with them hit save so now that will tell it told davinci resolve that's how we want it set up so now we're about to, to tell davinci that in the timeline we're going to use the proxy and to do that go to playback press on proxy handling proxy preferred sorry preferred proxies and then press on playback again timeline playback resolution half and then playback again and then you want render cache on smart now if you need these just to refer back to in the description i'll put what you need on each one so file master settings and then playback which ones you need as well if you want to use that as a refer back so now if you look if you zoom out on the video you'll see that davinci has now created a red line across your timeline across the top that's your proxy so now what we want to do is just wait for that to load up a little bit uh, i'm currently using the pocket 3 that i've only just purchased this thing has got active track it's amazing i'm going to do a video on that out in the field but uh, just hit like subscribe and then you'll be notified when the videos come um, if you've liked this video obviously but uh, right let's get into the next part of this and, uh, and i'll be a second Okay, so we're going to set up uh, the proxy that's done not within DaVinci Resolve, so it's easier for the computer. So if you press on the little pane in the bottom left-hand corner, this is Windows 11, and if you type in proxy, this will bring up Blackmagic Proxy Generator Lite. Press on that. Just give it a second to load up. As you can see, it's started to generate out now the proxy within DaVinci Resolve, and on the left-hand side here, you've got all the videos have now changed to proxy because they've been generated out uh, within DaVinci Resolve and the, the proxy generator. Here we are. So this is a brilliant bit of software. You can just leave this running in the background and it does it all for you. So with this, we need to make sure that we've got 264 8-bit, 4.2.0, half-res, 1080p, which will make it easier for the computer to, to work with while, before you before you render it out so within this what we're going to do is going to add the actual video files that uh, create this video that you're watching now so we press on file uh, within there is in PC as you can see it's quite full so we're going to go into there uh, video edit post video post edit in here you can see I've got a folder called proxy what we're going to do is oh there's a second one generate turned up now so we'll get rid of that so what we're going to do is going to drag and drop. So press your left mouse button, keep your finger on it when it's highlighted, and then just drag it over and drop it, and then it will come up there. 
So now what we want to do is we want to start that going. So before we start that going, as you can see in the video that I'm editing at the moment, that's already got the proxy, but I'm going to show you that it's actually working. So we're going to jump over to the actual video that this has been edited on. Not be a moment. <clears throat> Okay, so this is the video you can see. I've not done anything with it yet. So we need to set up the proxy. So project settings, go down to um, optimize media, render cache, change that to quarter, 265, and then half, the bottom one, and then save. That's that bit done. And then playback, you wanna go proxy handling, preferred proxies, and then timeline playback resolution, half, and then the last one is render cache do that smart you'll see now the red lines come up so that's brilliant now that's come up so what we you can see the both the renders out at the top top left hand side there so that's already rendered out so what we're going to do is where the video is actually stored so the videos if you go into the folder which is if you remember proxy and then we'll go to pocket three the videos are stored in here under proxy. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna start the proxy going. So this is um, proxy generator light. So we hit start. I want you to pay attention to within this folder and also on the left hand side here. So these are the raw footage files that actually within uh, DaVinci Resolve. So let's just wait for that to load up. You can see, I'm, I apologize for the lot going on, but you'll be able to see it in real time then. So just wait for this to finish rendering out while we wait for it to render out just we'll just make sure that uh, we've got that in there so playback oh we're in half time there so i'll put that to half time yep we're all there we read it you can see it rendering out there so now you can see these lines here you can see these little dots if you like they're like little link they will change to proxy when uh, when we finally got the the proxy rendered out so you're nearly done now, not long. But you'll take they, they will change to like the other video, they'll change to the pink. So you can see them already changing. So DaVinci Resolvers pick them up automatically, then chuck them straight into the video and gone, right, we've got them in there now. So we've got the proxies in there now, and you'll see that these will start changing as well. So you can see it's changed to proxy there. So we know that's working, so that's it. That's uh, that's as simple. So not too quick, Craig. Uh, you're still a bit sleepy, aren't you, from uh, from doing your nights? So uh, I'm going to stop Craig from there, and now this is uh, fully awake, Craig. So there's a couple of bits that I missed. Uh, we're just going to add on to the end of this. So stay on to the end, and I will show you a little trick. Uh, but uh, we're going to get into what we need to do now. So although we've already set all this up and we're quite happy how everything is, we need to make sure that we save the proxies within the folder. If you remember when I showed you, it actually was within the video files where they saved you got the proxy folder. So to set that up, you need to press on DaVinci Resolve in top left, press on preferences. And then in here, you've got main storage under system. You need to make sure that's selected as proxy subfolder in media file location. And then what that do is it will use the proxy that's been created by the uh, generator light within the uh, the file format actually what we showed you the folder structure so we'll save that so now that's done that will save that to that so as you can see you can see all the proxies on there as well so uh, so now what we want to do we want to make sure that uh, we can jump between backward and forward it's pretty it's pretty responsive as you can see because now it's got a proxy that's set up and uh, what we're going to do is I'm going to show you how to generate that without setting any of that up. So if you select your files, so we're going to select, up, select all them files all the way to the top and then right mouse button and you'll see down here, generate proxy media. When you press on that, it will come up with generating proxy media. We're not going to do that. We're going to cancel that off. But if you do that, you now can't press on anything. You'll hear it. Can you hear it? It's not allowing you to do anything. So that's... Uh, not advised to do it this way. It's going to be quite quick to generate this. I'm going to cancel this off. But just remember to go through the settings that we did at the beginning. So if you do all that, then you're good. Um, so that's that for, 
for, for them. So that's two. And then the last bit really is if you want to go back because it's dead grainy or whatever the footage that you've got, it's not brilliant, but you want to be able to, when you zoom in, it's dead grainy and stuff. So uh, to get around that, to go back, um, on the top right hand corner here, you've got proxy and then you've got disable all proxies, prefer proxies and then prefer camera originals. If you press on that, now what you'll see is proxies disappeared in the master on the left and then on the actual files within your timeline, it's got HQ, so it's high quality picture. So that's the original footage, if you like, that, that was set that when we first did it. And uh, that's it. So we can swap between that. Just remember to go back to that. So if you press on preferred proxies, it will change it back. You can do that up in the top. So if you press on playback and you've got proxy handling, you can do that within there. So you change it and you can see it changes it back. But I like to use the little buttons up there. Uh, also on top of that, to keep things nice and quick, you've got this little circle, color circle with dots in it and it's bypass color grade and fusion effects. So if you've done any fusion effects or any color grading, it, that's the, uh, the color grading there. If you've done any of that, that'll also slow down your computer. So what you need to do is make sure that that's deactivated as well and that makes it as quick as possible. So you can do your editing and keep as, as uh, efficient as, as possible is. So that's it for this one. I hope you've enjoyed it. Hit like, subscribe. I think I've said that two or three times now. And uh, I'll see you on the next one. Hit me up in the comments if there's anything you can think of that you'd like me to do as a, a uh, tutorial. I'm doing these quick con concessions, uh, you know, trying to keep them within 15 minutes or so. This one should be about 10 minutes. So keep it as simple as possible and then uh, keep going through them and then I'll revisit some of them if I find out any more so any more details within that subject so I'll, I'll be seeing you on the next one